Hello Sagittarius and welcome back for another tarot reading. Today Sagittarius it's all about the lover's energy of your person here. So this is going to be a general reading Sagittarius so it may or may not resonate with you. So just take the part that fits, discard the rest because it only means that this is not the reading for you at this time. But also I am still offering 2020 20 minute personal readings for $20. So if you're interested in that, check out the description box below. So we're pulling your person, your lover's energy towards you or about you, Sagittarius, because we're, we're, we're coming up on February, which is lover's month, quote unquote lover's month here. So we're pulling the energy from your lover's perspective here. Now you could be with this person or in se separation or Things may, may be rocky between the two of you, but we're pulling the lover's energy from your person here, okay? So, we're using the Romance Angel Oracle deck. We have the top and the bottom card here, and I have you a nine-card spread from the Light Seers Tarot deck, okay? We're not clarifying anything. We're going to just make it do what it do, get straight to the point, and give you this reading, Okay? So as you can see, this first card, it says retreat here. Retreat. It says it's time to disconnect from the world here. Now, I feel like this is your person here. Your person wants some alone time here. Uh, your person wants some alone time with you. And then at the same time, I feel like your person needs to disconnect to decide to really uh, introspect really. And it's not saying introspect, but when you retreat, you're disconnecting from the world. So that could be, you know, getting, you know, just being alone, disconnecting from the television, the internet, anything that's a distraction to you. I feel like your person is in this energy here. But I also feel like this person wants some alone time with you. But I feel like your person is, is kind of indecisive here. So your card underneath the bottom of the deck here, we have free yourself. It says, it's time to take back control of your life. I feel like this is your person. I feel like your person, um, based on the spread here, said it's like your person has did something and now they need to get back control, take back control over their life and over this situation too. So it says, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life here. I feel like this is your person because I feel like you're not talking to this person or you're upset with this person here. So this person really doesn't know how to heal it. They don't know how to, you know, right the wrongs that they have done to you. And so this, this other card underneath the bottom, it has very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This is why I feel like your person is kind of indecisive here. They need to make a decision. They need to take control of their life and, uh, you know, put the big, big man shoes on uh, because... I feel like nothing is going to change if this person doesn't take the action because I feel like ultimately this is your person's doing. So we have the Four of Cups, which is your first card here. Now this is water energy. This is Scorpio Cancer and Pisces energy here. So Four of Cups represents boredom, uh, discontent. You're not really happy and satisfied where you're at. Um, but it also means rejecting an offer or fear of sending out an offer because you think that someone may reject it here. So I actually feel like this is your person here. Your person wants to send this offer to you. Your person wants to extend their cup of love here, but they may feel like you may not accept it or you may reject it here. So your card underneath your four of cups, we have the queen of pentacles here. This is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Uh, but I feel like this is your energy here. You you were stable and grounded here. You were the ideal mate for this person here. Or this is the energy that you wanted to be for this person here. You may have wanted to be the Queen of Pentacles. You may have wanted that energy because we know the Queen of Pentacles is a very reliable partner to be with. Because the Queen has a king. And we know the king is like a boss, king of pentacles. He got that money. He's very traditional. He settled down, so he's usually a very stable, married person here. So this could have been what you wanted. You could have wanted this person to 
be more committed to you in this relationship here. But I feel like this person, you know, did something. And as a result, you may not be accepting their cup here. So underneath your queen of pentacles, we have the seven of wands here. This is fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy. Your, your energy, Sag. This is setting boundaries here. Uh, you know, it's because it's like, you, you, it's like you're saying, look, you already hurt me. So I'm just going to have to kind of pull back from you. So I feel like ultimately you really had to stand up for yourself, set boundaries with this person because you don't like being walked over here. So now we come over here to the page of cups here. There's a lot of cups in here, I see. Your person, it's like your person has a lot of love for you, but I think your person just made, just did something wrong here. So we know the pages are messengers here. This is more water energy, Scorpio Cancer and Pisces energy here. So, the, you know, the page is a messenger. So I feel like this person wants to reach out to you and communicate something with you. Uh, you know, something, apology, because if you look at this card, and I just noticed that y'all, you take a good look at this card. You see this right here? It's like a heart. Let's see, can I get it? See that? So it's like this person wants to let you know that they're sorry, that they love you here. So this person wants to communicate. Uh, this person wants to tell you that they love you. And I guess this person wants to try to make it up to you. And I feel like this person wants to communicate with you. Uh, try to heal it. Apologize to you. Because underneath your page of cups, we have the four of pentacles here. Now, this is more earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn's energy here. This is keeping something close. This is not releasing something here. So it's like your person wants to apologize or, you know, make up something, you know, try to make it up to you, uh, heal it, so to speak. Because I feel like this person did not release another person that they were involved with. They were holding on to them and not releasing them. Because underneath your four of pentacles here, we have the empress here. So the empress, this could have been your person's, your lover's uh, child's mother. So I feel like this person always messed you know, continued a relationship with the parent of their child here. Because like I said, crown this empress, we have the four of pentacles. This is what this person wants to reach out in this page of cups and apologize about for not releasing this connection here. So how can they deal with you if they haven't released something old here? So over here, we have the three of swords. This is why, why they want to apologize. So you have the three of swords next to the page of cups next to the four of cups. It's like this person wants to reach out and, and offer you something, give you their cup, but they feel like you're going to reject it. They want to apologize, but they feel like you might not want to hear it. And they want to do all this because they broke your heart because they put you in a third party heartbreak here. I feel like it's you and this empress here. You're the queen of pentacles and this empress, which is their child's parent here. Or they could have had a baby, you know, because we know the empress is a pregnant person here look at that big gut you know she's about to deliver this person could have had a baby so now underneath your three of swords now we have the knight of cups this person wants to come in and charm you now they want you to forgive them they want you to take them back this person just wants you now you know <laughs> and they're not releasing this either because next to the knight of cups we have the four of pentacles here so it's like you have the queen of pentacles which is you then you have the four of pentacles, which is them not releasing. It's like this person wants, this person is not releasing you either because they're coming in with this knight of cups to try to charm you, trying to get you back, trying to win you back over. So it's like your person is not releasing you, but they want to apologize to you for not releasing this person on the side, which I feel like, you know, they were still dealing with their child's parent here. So underneath your Knight of Cups, now we have the Six of Cups here. This person, this is why this person has to free themselves here and, and clearly decide what they want. Because if, if it's a child's parent, then you know that there is some type of, uh, you know, there is some type of uh, connection there. There is a connection there. So you know that that's going to always be. 
So this person's going to have to clearly decide if they want to be with Sagittarius or do they want to keep on messing with the baby mama here. And so I feel like this is why your person needs to retreat to get their mind and their thoughts together and also free themselves so they can take control of this situation. Because no one's going to put up with third party heartbreaks here. This is why this person's on the outside trying to get back in. So like I say, this is this is a past life connection. Your person, your person is missing you. They're reminiscing of you and they're trying to come back. So you guys are soulmates. You do, do have a past life connection with this person here. So underneath the bottom of the deck, we have death here. Now, if you notice death in the uh, infinity symbol in rebirth, because I feel like you put an end to this connection with this person. And, and after the death card here, you have the nine of wands and now you're blocking him. I feel like you, you ended it with this person and you put him on block. Uh, but, but, but look, after death, there is rebirth. So, Although I feel like you put an end to this connection, you blocked them and you did all this, you know, block communication and you're blocking your heart and all those things. I still feel like this person wants to come back in anyway, because <laughs> you keep going. You have the eight of wands. This person still wants to move forward with you. This person still trying to come back to you. And then the next card, and it's going to be the last card here. We have the two of cups. So this is your soulmate here. This is why this person won't stop. They're going to keep coming back. They're going to keep on, keep on, keep on till you say yes. This person is not done. They're going to keep coming back because this connection is what draws them back to you, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, this has been your reading for your lover's energy about you, my darling. So if this video resonates with you, Sagittarius, please like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Hit the notification bell. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye, Sagittarius.